But uh, let, let me ask what uh, what some of your next uh, painting projects are. We got a couple more a couple more minutes here. What else are you working on? Well, I've, I'm thinking next I'm going to do George Barris, the car designer that did the original Batmobile in 1966. I met in the 80s. He gave me some several uh, photographs from a movie called The Car from 1977. Kind of an evil, possessed car, kind of like a Jaws, but with an automobile. And I love the way it looks. It's dramatic. So I'm going to do one of the car with the car uh, movie poster logo also incorporated into it. I'm going to do just a cutout of the 1966 Lincoln Futura Batmobile mm -hmm. as well. Black with all the red piping on the edges and the whole deal and maybe Adam West in it. Uh, I think that would be a fantastic uh, painting as well. Um, I'm thinking about kind of segueing into some other things. I think that to do a, a TIE fighter cutout following an X-Wing <laughs> would be fan with a Death Star cut out in the background around a contour cut around the whole thing would be fantastic. So these are all things that I'm leaning towards doing. Uh, it wouldn't be uh, out of the ordinary to do possibly a little Duke Nukem cutout. Duke <laughs> Nukem, Laura Croft, Doom. I love the, the artwork of the original Doom poster. Uh, my wife had a birthday and I cut out a Betty Boop uh, <laughs> little cutout for her. And uh, they're small, easy to do, and I could mass produce a, a bunch of these very easily. So I'm thinking about doing some gaming related. You could just imagine a Shock Troopers uh, cut out with maybe the logo incorporated with one of the characters with a, <laughs> with a wife beater on and the mullet with a machine gun, the whole, the whole deal. <laughs> so uh, I've got a lot of my head's filled with ideas. In fact, your show has been very inspirational for me. It's, it's just filled with creativity. I, I love watching it, and it seems like every day I see something new, a new idea pops into my head that I want to incorporate into a piece of art. So, Well, I, I love art. It's, it's art something that I've, uh, you know, visual art at least, is something I've gotten away from as I've gotten more into the, uh, you know, the video editing and the radio. I, was, I mean, I always viewed Classic Game Room as kind of a combination of radio and video editing. Uh, yes. But I, I'd actually like to get back into it a little bit more and have a couple, uh, couple plans to do that, but of course... It all falls upon time, but if you follow the Wind Squid channel at all, you'll see some uh, some new stuff actually. Uh, let's see if I can grab one here without everything falling off of the table. So I uh, uh, yeah I haven't bought any new books in ages, so I'm still using a couple old ones from uh, from my college days. I've got so many of them, but I've got uh, you probably can't see it's, it's all pencil at the moment. I can see it. No, it looks great though. And in fact, I I have I've saved your uh, YouTube channel. For wind squid, and I've watched every one of your videos. Yeah, I'm changing the format a bit. I wasn't thrilled with the because uh, the problem with the animation, I wanted it to be animated. And after doing a little bit, and just then doing some additional research and what it would take to really get animated, it's uh, it's either too time consuming or way, way too expensive. Unfortunately, so I'm yes. uh, leaning towards going back to uh, still comic book art, and then mm -hmm. using the channel to support the uh, uh, hopefully a uh, real comic book. That's, I guess. I love your spoken word. Actually, I think it works well with the, with the images of the comics that you've drawn. And it was all right. I, I wasn't thrilled with it myself. I, I looked at it like this. This was meant to be more. It falls a little short, so I might just go straight straight visuals. But uh, I, I guess a few, you know, yourself and a few people, I guess, like the spoken word approach. I wasn't wasn't as thrilled with it, but hopefully, uh, a comic book form will um, Will be, will be more uh, doable and also make me happier in, in, with the end project, I guess. You've got my undying support in whichever capacity you decide to go with it. I think it's a great idea, and I love everything about your little nuances. Wind Squid, uh, Lord Carnage. <laughs> oh, he's in the comic book. He's, I have the story written. That's actually one thing I forgot <laughs> to mention. The whole story's done, it's, but it's big. So you know, yes. doing like one episode every like six months isn't obviously going to cover it. It's got to be done in a... Uh, in a more efficient, efficient manner. And how how long does it take you? Actually, while while we're on the subject of time, it takes because it does yes. take a lot of time to do a good piece of artwork. Um, how long does it take to do one of these cars behind you? Well, they're they're typically most of the ones on my portfolio uh, in my gallery. It took about twenty four to twenty eight hours on average. Uh, the Ural Camino took about sixty hours. I'm in putting more quality into them. I, initially, I had done four of them. They all sold on eBay within about a week and a half. And one fellow in Port Charlotte, Florida, was opening a muscle car garage. He had 100 mm -hmm. cars and some Harleys and stuff. And he goes, 
how long would it take you to do eight or nine of these things? And I said, well, I'll get right on it. It'll take me about eight weeks. And I might, my, and I did one per week at about four to five days per painting. And I cranked out eight of them. I gave him a Shelby Cobra as a ninth one as a gift because he was, he was really nice at ordering so many of them. I've also, the 57 Chevy that's in my gallery, uh, a fellow in New Hampshire bought that that owns a Chevy dealership. He's got that in his office. Hmm. Uh, I've sold them all over Atlanta, Georgia. Um, there's another one in Chicago of a Mad Max painting that I sold. So they're, they're, they're pretty much gone. They go pretty fast. Uh, I try to do the cars that are popular that people like. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm even thinking about doing an 18 van, which would be <laughs> awesome. Now I've got four pictures of 18 vans that, are, that people have restored that would make fantastic paintings. You could do the Knight Rider car, Smoking the Bandit. Uh, so there's pretty much it's endless uh, pop culture type things that would be awesome. I think, in, in the form of a cutout or with cars or what have you. So. What if somebody just happens to like that particular Chevy Nova or the old Corvette in their, in their collection or the Corvette that they had when they were a kid or the one they wanted when they were a kid? You can take the pictures and you can paint these cars and deliver them their dreams. Yes, I can. That's, <laughs> that's, what, that's what the idea is anyway. Well, the, your work is very good, and thank you again for the El Camino. I am um, at the moment... Never. With our temporary spot here, I don't know how much room we have to to properly display, but I'm going. We're getting a few more arcade games, which are uh, at this moment on order, to sort of fill the set out and give it the yes. uh, the full the you know my full vision here in our in our um, you know 18 wheeler environment, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to get the El Camino in, in on some um, some side shots, but that that will be a prominently placed in a uh, in a new spot in the future oh, because that's it's. Wonderful. It's, it's just, it's beautiful. It's a great, it's a great painting. And he also sent along a hanging kit. So thank you for the hanging kit. Oh, we're, you're very welcome. We were holding it up against the wall the other day. Just like, wow, this thing's like driving straight out of the wall at us. And <laughs> like, we'll put the hanging kit up. Wait, we can't hammer through metal right now. Never mind. We'll try it later. You so, could use metal screws and probably screw into some of the bracing on the wall and have the bracket and then hang, hang the painting up onto that. So... Or you could take a piece of wood, lag bolt it to the wood, and then to that wood screw the bracket, and then put the mail feed oh, yeah. in. The hook. So that's true. There's you a do... couple of ways to approach it. I didn't think a about furring that. strip, lag bolted on there, would be ideal, and then you could put the bracket onto that. Well, many people don't realize is I'm about the least mechanical, least handy person on earth. I can't, I can't even fix a doorknob. I don't. I like call my father-in-law for help for the easiest things. I'm like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> help. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I can't hang up this picture with tape properly. You're, you sent along a Longanitas IPA poster with the car. I, it actually fell off the wall because I couldn't even tape it properly. So I've got to, I've got to get better at actually, you know, being a pro I wouldn't survive in the wild for very long. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I'd, Neither one of us, I think. I, I'd get cold and hungry and just end up calling my mom to come pick me up or something. Um, but this is, uh, again, we're talking with Dean Thompson of Thompson, of, I'm sorry, not Thompson, of Dean's Cool Cars dot com and uh, he's donated quite a few items to both classic game room cgr undertow and of course the cgr garage show as well as the mad max action figure and uh, yes. your, your cat's your cat's name is Vinny. yes Vinny corleone and uh with, with the custom made sh uh, hand shotgun i might add so these things don't go unnoticed <laughs> <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, I actually was ready to send it, and then all of a sudden, where the hell is the shotgun? And the little SOB made off with it. So I went right down to the art supply place, got some modeling clay, immediately made another one, baked it in the oven, painted it, slipped it in his little hand, it works, perfect, and then sent it to you. <laughs> well, thank you. And some, he always sends some great pictures when you go out to, and you're out in, you're out in California, in Southern California, yes. so you're near one of my favorite breweries, the Lagunitas Brewery. Uh, yes, ninety minutes. I am very <laughs> jealous of that. I would. That would be probably very bad if the Lagunitas Brewery was actually close to me. In fact, I should probably be fortunate that it's not. I, yeah, my wife hasn't been there yet. She's anxious to go. They get a beautiful outside cantina where you can sit out and eat, you know, uh, appetizers and have a beer. They've got a great selection of uh, homemade beers there. So I enjoyed your pictures on Twitter recently. You went to Philly. Yep. And went yeah. to the Philadelphia Brewery, which I, mm -hmm. I enjoyed your pictures of that as well. Yeah, I try to visit breweries when I when I'm out and about. It's uh, obviously something I enjoy, so I've been to been to quite a few, and that was a, that was a fun trip. Yeah. Oh, good. So, but uh, thank you very much for talking, and th again, thank you for all of for all of the donations. Thank you for the incredible painting, yes. all, all of the muscle machines, and your continued support. And I'm also glad to hear that you enjoy the game reviews as well as the car reviews. I sure do. And that's an awesome T-shirt that you're wearing. 
Well, thank you. It was a wonderful Christmas gift from my wonderful friends at Classic Game Room. <laughs> Thanks again very much. That really made my Christmas, by the way, Mark. I, I really do appreciate it. Well, glad it. you enjoyed that. We'll have to get another care package out to you soon. Got to, I've, I'm basically, uh, I've got a whole fleet of cars back there that needs a good home. So the shelves can't and, hold them oh, all. Oh, yeah. You could always fit Bosk inside that T-top, I think, of that Trans Am. You'd make for a wonderful yeah. review. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We got Stormtrooper right here. Let's see. Well, this, oh, this is one of the newer ones. Their legs don't bend like the old ones. Oh, no, okay. We got, we got them bent there. And let's see. Here's the Trans Am Stormtrooper. Perfect. In the Trans Am. Put your legs around the steering wheel there. All right. <laughs> That's not a tilt steering wheel on this thing. No, I know that's one of the drawbacks of. Oh, that's fantastic! Oh, well, he's a little large for the Corvette. For, for the, I'm sorry, the Trans Am, not a Corvette. Please, the Empire doesn't drive Corvettes; they drive Trans Ams. Of course they do. Everybody knows that. Oh, I have that. I have that same. <laughs> that's, that's that's a great DVD box set. Thank you once again to Dean Thompson, DeansCoolCars.com, and cool and cars are spelled with a K. We should just flash the flash it up on screen right now, like an infomercial. There it is. Now you know where to go to buy yourself some awesome artwork and the uh, and cars exploding out of the wall. So thank you, Dean. I will talk thank to you, you again soon. Okay, thanks, my friend. <laughs>